The Lady Circle. Brought to you by Yaz Sanitary Pad. Onga. Young Vita. MTN. Woodin. We they work hard, so we they play hard. Talk about touchy issues. No, no time to stress on. Lady Circle. Yeah, yeah, this is Lady Circle. Welcome to another exciting and entertaining show right here on the Lady Circle. And you know, that move, mm. if you did not miss that episode with Ziggy, you know that, yeah, I mean, we got the moves right. I don't know if Helen, <laughs> Helen, um, you are lost. I did, I wanted uh, beginners to also feel included. Mm. So you saw me doing the soft version. Yes. Yes, just so that those of you who are not as coordinated as we are can follow along. You're, you're welcome. So, you're so <laughs> considerate. So I mean, honestly, I was doing I the mean, medium version. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> I know I was doing this and that and something like this and this, but I mean. I think that was the remix. We will get better. I okay. think Ziggy yeah. will be proud. Yeah, Ziggy he will, will be, proud, be proud, I mean. But my name is Anita Ikea Kufu. As always, I'm doing this with... Sika Ose Douglas. And... The Queen of Ghana, Helena Pia Ampo. <laughs> it's, it's, it's given the Queen of England. Oh, it is? It's oh, giving oh, 1960. Do we like it? Do we like it? Yeah, give us, give us a turn. Let's see. Every day, 10. It's oh, okay. Ten, People ten, have to ten, pay for ten, this. Ten, okay. Ten, ten. okay. Yes, honey. Okay. It's giving queenly vibes, but ladies... Huh. Where did this Queen of Ghana come from? I'm still mm. flabbergasted by that. It's a new development. Roll with it. Oh, Roll with got it. You. Got you. Got you. If they come for her on Twitter, please. <laughs> We're not there. <laughs> we were not there. But of course, let's say thank you to our sponsors and thank mm. you going out to Yas and Pad and Yum Vita. Uh, some more thank yous going out. A very big one to Woodin for keeping us stylish. And also, Onga, for your delicious soups and stews. Well, you know what we say, Momo is always a good idea here on the Lady Circle. So a big shout out to MTN for supporting the Lady Circle. And Cowbell. Mm, Cowbell, Yamvita. That's a new combo we're working with here See, on the Lady Circle. Don't, don't even try. <laughs> don't go there. Hey, Menumu Yamo But at this point, we're going to um, make way for the profile of our guest. And as always, we have a very special guest right here on the Lady Circle. We'll let the profile do the talking. When we come back, we get straight into things. Well, let's welcome up on the Lady Circle stage, Stephanie Benson. Glam Ma. Glam Ma. So glamorous grandmother. Glam Ma. So glam -ma. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stephanie will be revealing more, okay? Dropping more bombs on us as we progress <laughs> on the show. So fear not if you think this is where it ends, it gets even more juicy. A quick message, though, from Yaz before we go on a break. And Yaz says, forget about cross-checking several times to make sure that you're neat and tidy. Forget about canceling appointments because you're embarrassed uh, during that time of the month. 
Yaz says you are absolutely covered. You've got the Yaz Extra Long version, Yaz Minty, Yaz Heavy Flow, or even the Yaz Herbal. You can also try the all new Yaz Minty Extra Long Sanitary Pad. It has extra long wings and free panty liners with disposable bags in every pack. How amazing does that sound? With this, you're always good to go. Yaz says, choose Yaz, choose right. And of course, with Woodin, you can get creative and versatile with your designs. Be confident and show of how truly African you are in Woodin. Go to a Woodin retail shop near you today and choose from a variety of trendy products to complement your unique style. And after doing that, don't forget to follow Woodin on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And Woodin says, look creative. This is why we take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we are talking about the hike in you know, prices when it comes to dialysis down here in Ghana. It's become a major talking point. And so we'll be getting into that issue and then also get to find out what you think as well. I mean, drop your comments uh, down below the live feed and then we will be seeing all the love you're showing us. We'll be back shortly. Do stay. Yeah, yeah, this is Lady Many thanks to Yaz Sanitary Pad, MTN, Yamvita, Onga, Woodin. All right, welcome back. You're still watching The Lady Circle. And trust me, the first part of the show is going to be very educative. And of course, um, if you've been, you know, listening to the news and keeping tabs on issues regarding health you definitely know about this but if you do not know what well, recently the Kolebu teaching hospital um also made an announcement that there's been a substantial increase in the prices of dialysis when you visit that particular hospital and so it's moved from 380 ghana cities to 765.42 per session not monthly <laughs> per session so if in a week you need maybe two sessions that is how much you're going to pay and this has been a topical issue especially when dialysis is a lifesaver some people depend on it to survive so imagine if you're not financially buoyant to afford this service how then do you survive especially in this current economic dispensation it is not looking good for a lot of people. And there's a particular media house that ran a story on a young lady who was going through dialysis. But unfortunately, because of the price and the increase and the fact that she cannot afford, yeah. she's passed on sadly. And I'm sure she's not the only one. There are a lot of people who are grappling with this issue. And it's something we need to talk about. And I personally think that for dialysis, it should be quite affordable. But Stephanie, mm -hmm. you've gone through quite a number of surgeries mm -hmm. and all of that. But... What is your impression on the prices of especially dialysis in Ghana, not even to talk about surgery? I know, I just think that it just, everything seems so geared to getting rid of human life. Mm -hmm. I, that's what it just, it seems to me, because some of these basic things yeah. for just um, love and, and courtesy and just care, it's just not there anymore. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, I'm, I'm baffled yeah. that because I, I thought that, um, sometimes bills are subsidized. Yeah. They're not anymore. In Ghana, no. Um, you know, uh, no. Until you pay, it is, you're not getting it. Yes. I, I know. I mean, it's shocking to me. Something has to change because it's not right um, that people are feeling un undervalued, under cared for, under loved. Um, just, just basic human, uh, you know, courtesy. Yeah. Government really has a lot to answer for. Mm. Yeah. I, I totally agree. And the, the funny thing is that when it came out, the hospital actually denied yeah. having increased the prices that, oh, it's none of that. But people also had confirmation that they've had to pay more than twice the amounts they were That's initially right. paying. Helen, I'm sure you obviously <laughs> know so much about this. What do you think? Um, I don't even know if it's so much. But when we, just to expand the conversation, think about mm -hmm. the healthcare sector, and how bad the economy is faring, it is all intertwined. Mm -hmm. Because the way in which our healthcare system is funded is by, for example, government spending, so government allocating funds to the healthcare system, also with our taxes. Um, so every time you go and buy something, you see the NHIL on yeah. there. That's the National Health Insurance uh, for the levy. And it ends up going into the NHIF. That's the insurance fund to make sure that we can all benefit from it. 
Um, in 2021, for example, only 6% of monies collected um, went into the fund, when by law it should be about 70 to 80%. So just put things into perspective, only 6% of those monies actually mm -hmm. went towards the healthcare system. At an economic, uh, uh, a time like this where everyone's really st uh, struggling, even uh, getting money into the fund by way of taxes will be reduced because how many people are even really able to go out there mm -hmm. and spend for that money to then also be, uh, you know, collected back into the fund. So it's, it's we're, we're living through a very serious crisis. Mm -hmm. Specific to the dialysis issue, um, people are dying every day, even when it was 380 cities. And I'm not sure if it's gone back. There's been some back and forth, which I found quite interesting because it was printed as a big notice. Exactly. Size font 24, <laughs> that the prices had been increased. And yet the hospital said, oh, this was um, a mistake and it wasn't supposed to be the case. Um, there's a lot. There's, there's, a, there's a lot that goes on. Just, just too much. Not a lot of people ask questions. Mm. Everybody's always afraid to rock the boat, and that's the problem. Somebody's always getting a backhand somewhere. Somebody's always wanting to, um, to make some kind of money somewhere. It, it's just so sad the situation. We have to hold these people accountable for what yeah. they do. When you make a commitment to people to look after people and to be responsible for people in government and whatnot, please do that job. Yeah. yeah, totally agree. Sika. It's as simple as that. Um, I mean, I'm somebody that truly believes in karma, not to put mm -hmm. any bad karma on anybody. But I think the health sector is one sector that we should not cut oh. corners on. Mm -hmm. Why? Because one day it could be your family member yeah. that is in that situation. I think people don't have that foresight. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they think, oh, I have money. I can fly them to London. I can fly them. Mm -hmm. However, there can be an emergency right now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where you need to take them to the, yeah. to the hospital as you, as you know, what are you going to do? Yeah. So let's not sort of you know, put all of that aside just for the sake of our own personal gain. Um, I have an uncle that has you know, has to go through dialysis, and I understand how important this situation is. Seeing him become a shell of himself because of this kidney issue, so, uh, it's, it's just crazy. So imagine people, and he can afford it, mm -hmm. imagine people who can't. Mm. It's absolutely insane, yeah. you know? And sometimes I don't blame the hospital as well. You've spoken, you've given us the figures, you've given us yeah. the numbers. Maybe if they did have the fund, if they did have access to it, yeah. maybe some of these things wouldn't, you know, be happening because they have to survive as well. Yeah. That's true. They I have think to they find get a way told to what to do, surely. Yeah, yeah they, they yeah. don't really... Um... I mean, the, so, uh, for example, disbursements to the Ministry of Health will ultimately come from the Ministry of Finance. They will allocate. So each sector ministry will drop their um, budgets, mm -hmm. present that, and the monies get dispersed. But even at the Ministry of Finance, when you think about where we are economically as a, a country, the resources have to be allocated to as many places mm -hmm. as possible. And that's why we're hanging on by a shoestring. Talk about using your um, NHIS card. Hmm. These days, a lot of it's hospitals don't only Except. give you, they'll only give you maybe some painkillers. That's as mm, much as you yeah. can get because for them, the, the problem is that many of these hospitals will not sometimes get paid by the state for up to something like nine months, ten months. So they, they don't have that reassurance that if they give you that care, yes, um, they that will they get will the money back. Yes. So it's yeah. a lot of cash and carry. Um, like I said, you might just get painkillers. You won't get too much else when you present your card at the hospital for any type of care. So um, as a matter of urgency, our, our economic situation yeah. has to change. Otherwise, we'll see a further decline mm -hmm. in the care that we get in our state hospitals. When you go private, it's expensive. So where we're saying it's what seven hundred and sixty-five in the states, like mm -hmm. something two thousand, yes, very high um, hmm. in the private establishments, eight hundred, nine hundred per session. And we're told that for an average pa patient, you're doing about two to three sessions a week. How oh much does Lord. the average Ghanaian even earn to afford this amount of money? So, as always, we're calling on <clears> leadership <throat> to to take a critical look at this. We lose a lot of money to corruption. Mm -hmm. We lose a lot of money to misplaced priorities mm -hmm. and a lot yeah. of money to wastage. Mm -hmm. We put too many other things as a priority above Love, the health exactly. of the citizens. The and at some point, enough has to be enough. How many Ghanaians are going to have to die before we realize, actually, we can't bring back human lives? We mm -hmm. can't bring back no, human you lives. You know, the no. president actually said that. During COVID. During COVID, yeah. he mentioned that. We cannot bring back the lives that we are losing, mm. but at least the economy, we can bring it them, back. For them at that time, 
it was real. They were placing a lot of importance on human lives. And I'm expecting that, despite the fact that COVID is, is no longer here, mm -hmm. we should still place that importance on mm. our lives. But in this instance where we are not getting it, I think that as individuals, we should take care of ourselves then. Right. In terms of lifestyle choices, mm -hmm. what you're eating, how you're taking Thank care you. of yourself. And you, Stephanie, since... I when you, some of us got to know you, you've looked the same. It has <laughs> not changed. She's looked the same. Well, she looks even more fit. Exactly. Uh, what, has, how yeah. do you take care of yourself? How, mm. how do we take care of ourselves? And then, I mean, avoid some of these issues, you know, all of those things. Can you, can you tell us? I mean, you're probably seeing me fitter now because I think when we met, I was going through cancer at the time, mm. 2015, 16. It was like, you know. Mm. Um, yes, I was just recovering, so my body was not exactly you know, um, be, yeah. going through. And also, even now, I'm still recovering from the, my gallbladder remo right. removal, mm. and they punctured my pa um, my pancreas, pancreas, giving me pancreatitis. So, for me, when it comes to health, I, that's some, and and taking care of your body is something I don't compromise on yeah. at all. The chances of you dying on a liposuction is a lot less than going to do a BBL. A BBL mm. is at least seventy percent chance that you might pass away. Really? Wow. Yes. It's, it's rising. I like, hear it's that crazy. all the time, but I feel as though you think it's scaremongering. No, yes, I thought we were scared. No, even surgeons, even wow. the UK surgeons, don't do it. You know, it's like in American surgeons, the top surgeons. I posted something mm. on my page. I don't know if you saw it from um, Dr. Dubro and NASA. Mm. These are the top surgeons. Mm. They wouldn't do it. You know, I because if if any of that fat goes into any kind of dead, any blocks, immediately. You're dead. Yeah. My Blood best, clots. one of my good friends just died from doing a BBL at my, she's a year younger than me. I'm thinking, what the, why? You've left your children because you want a big butt. <laughs> it, it, it's, the whole thing is a mind boggling. And you usually, I wouldn't talk about these things mm. because it doesn't bother me what somebody does. Yeah. You know, I have facials and I stick needles in my face all the time. <laughs> But I'm not going to die from it, yeah, okay. <laughs> you know. Sometimes other people are coming to me on my DM and saying, I want to go and do a step. Where do you think is a good hospital? I'm, I'm looking at that. I said, what the hell are you asking me for? To, I've definitely seen it. And these days, I'd, I'd be the sort of person that would think, I don't really care, <laughs> well, you know however my body reacts. But I certainly look at it these days and I think, hmm, you know what? Because it's been <laughs> so normalized. It's the, yes. to the point that we are forgetting the risk the that come risk. involved. It's mm. the risk. Yes, because it almost seems like, oh, well, everybody's coming yes. through to the other side. Yeah. So why not do but it as well? And I mean, like Helen said, I think at some point in every woman, well, let me not speak for every woman, yeah. but most women, yeah. um, because of the onslaught mm -hmm. of BBLs on socials. But it started from America. Yes. In America. Look at Cardi B, what she said. Mm. That was irresponsible comment that, that anybody, you know, saying that you do a BBL and you be able to fix your teeth, some like that, um, you know, do that first. But is she, and then, is she wrong, though? No, but listen, she's retracted it. Have you mm. gone to the net? She's retracted it and said that that was an irresponsible statement. And she's actually going to remove a, a, bit. Her, a bit of her, her butt. Yes. Yeah, she there's did, a whole she thing about it. too much. I've seen her recently. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but she <laughs> because now there's a new, a new way. God, I don't even want to give these people um, any ideas to do anymore. But there's something called the car, um, car, car, oh God. Is it like the liquid BBL? There, there's some, yeah, which apparently is better for now your system. Now that's actually uh, blown up, these liquid yeah. BBLs. So actually, this is not even a secret. It's getting very popular. Yeah, yeah those even are, in Ghana, there's, 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 there's a name for it. Mm. But it, it's... I think anything like that is just, you know, it's a bit ridiculous. Health first. Mm. I'm not saying go, not going to do a liposuction. You know, sometimes after you've had children, there's yeah. some stubborn fat that you can't get rid of. Mm. You know, and some people want to just go and do it. I'm thinking, you know, hey, why, why not? You, mm. you deserve it if it's stubborn fat. But you get your lifestyle in gear first. Yeah. I'm saying get your health mm. side in gear first yeah. sure. before you consider doing sure. any kind of plastic yes, because surgery. Actually, if you do liposuction without having the lifestyle um, the workout mm. routines, yeah. that healthy yes. mindset, yes. it's going to come it's back going to come and back. probably even worse. Yeah. That's it. With yes. a BBL, you get the fat and you're putting your butt. How are you going to work out? Because it's going to go as soon as you start working out. Yeah, so, that's right. And all you're going to do is every six months, you're going back to suck more from your waist because mm -hmm. your waist gets bigger because you're eating. Mm -hmm. mm. Your, your eating habits does not change. Yeah. Here we call it the touch-up. So well, <laughs> where you go and get a, a little touch up here and there, because you know some people are like, "Oh, that's looking different." Mm. She's gone and gotten got to a touch up, mm. you know. But what about your dietary mm -hmm. um, routine and regimen? Mm -hmm. Because I know you don't play with that. Oh no, no, as well. Now in Ghana, we always say that our diet is very carb heavy. 
you know? And now that the economy is even worse, you would rather go and buy Kenke, which is now 25, 30 CDs, hey. because the fish is 15 CDs or 20 CDs at the right time. Back. So I think health is important. We're thinking of the now a lot. Mm -hmm. And a lot of women say, I want to be like you when I'm 56. You can't be like me if you're going to do those, you know, um, things, because you be your knees will hurt. Yeah. You know, you want to make extra bit of money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, is that be, what it is? To be fair, every, it, well, it's, 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 yeah. It's, is it money or just? I mean, it's money. Some people say it's to gain their, their confidence okay. back. Um, obviously, the industry that we're in, like Helen yeah. says, puts a lot of premium the pressure. On, on how you look. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of people are not thinking about necessarily like years to come. But I think, I guess that's the secret to how you bond with your kids. Because you and your kids are like peas in a pod. Yeah. It's like, who's the mother, who's the kid? Like, wh yeah. where, where? And it's so beautiful to watch because there's Thank not you. even a situation of, oh, no, they don't respect her. They love you. Oh, God. And they respect you. Yeah. But then they're also like, yeah, that's my mama. I think that, yeah, they <laughs> love that. That's my mama. My son, my son goes to work in uni as well because he works and is in uni. And his friends all follow me. And they, they usually send him my post and say, have you seen your mom? <laughs> And then he'll be a yes. When I recorded 69 and one more, he was he went to school showing it all to them. You know, like, look at my mom. So yeah, yeah it's, it's amazing. He loves it. So people say, how would you think kids think, you know, how they're going to react and blah, mm. blah, blah. I'm just laughing. That's why it. it doesn't bother me because I'm looking at the key. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're fine. They just, they know me. It is yeah. beautiful. Yeah. I just wanted to touch quickly on, um, on some of the substances and like slimming teas that also are quite... Um, rife on the market because of the kidney issues mm -hmm. and we're being warned that some of these things that we're ingesting can also harm the kidneys yes. so there's all kinds of teas and potions and yeah, because it strips work. your body of any mm. goodness those teas because okay. it makes you poo doesn't mm -hmm. it yeah, yeah. like yes. you're running, running yeah. yeah so you're getting rid of all the vitamins and some stuff and sometimes when the people lose weight you see in their face they don't yeah. look so good mm. Mm. but they're skinny so they're happy mm -hmm. it's sad so those teas they don't work they will work for you for now, but as soon as you stop them, you're going to eat again because your body is, is like, you know. Mm. So me, I just say exercise. Mm. Please, listen, if you want to go and do liposuction, fine. If you want to go and do whatever, whatever, fine. But please exercise and eat well and get your body. Mm. Some of my friends say, Steph, I want to exercise. So I started walking. And one day I went to, um, to, um, for a walk with one of them. She was dragging her feet down. She was on the phone. <laughs> Mrs. So what is this exercise? <laughs> It wasn't a brisk walk then. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Then she's going, hey. and we're talking. I said, ah. So what is this? You don't really <laughs> know. No, and no. as soon as they get back home, it's bread yes, on bread with big beans, <laughs> some eggs and sausage, please. Because yes. we, we, we've worked hard. We worked hard. We, we, we have to repay ourselves. Me nanti three hours. Me say, huh? I could do that thing in five in minutes, John. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and health is actually important, um, even when it comes to, you know, the rumble and the tumble and the bedroom. Yes, that's the thing. Yeah. It, you see, that's that's the thing. That that side of it. it mm. I, <laughs> and it's <laughs> don't you have sex? You too, why? <laughs> Mm. So kind of need to unchain and you talk about no, no, no. Mm. because your like, TikTok videos are so great and that's why people like you know tune in because you're going to be raw you're going to be yeah. candid and yes. being healthy people don't know you have to have stamina you do when mm. you close the no, door. it's the mental stamina that you need it's not just really about doing split I mean although I can do a split okay come on <laughs> but yeah I mean hey you know me I try everything once so. <laughs> If I like it, I'll keep going. <laughs> but, <laughs> but the, the, the thing is, it's the mental stamina it gives you, makes you feel good to yeah. want to yeah. do, you know, happy when you're exercising because you know when you're going in, it's like, hey, um, yeah, yeah, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> you're going to um, be doing the show um, on 3FM, mm -hmm. you know, I think it would be such an interesting take to, to actually talk about some of those things. Yes, so. I think this, the show, that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's why we call it Uncensored. Yes. It's in the first hour, we're going to be educational. We're still going to talk about people's stories and, and sexual, you know, um, stories and mm -hmm. whatnot. Mm -hmm. and, and also some real stuff as well, yeah. infections and whatever. Yeah. And, but I'm going to keep it explicit. I'm, I'm not, when I say explicit, I'm not going to be tacky. Yeah. I'm not going to be unclassy. It's just going to be about real stuff. And I don't want somebody to say you can't say penis mm. or you can't say vagina. <laughs> it's yeah. Anita's face for me. <laughs>
<laughs> no, I mean, I'll be listening. I need to listen. Yeah. And then, you know. We're very ex yeah. excited about it. So shameless plug. You can listen to Stephanie on 3FM 92.7. I don't want this conversation to end. I mean, but we, we still have to pay some bills. Yes. But just a quick one. Yes. Because um, I know they're still coming at you. The DMs are still coming. Oh, God, Jesus. The, I mean, because the way you walk, when I saw them legs, <laughs> I said, this person is getting hit on 24-7. <laughs> How are you dealing with that? Oh, to be honest, I'm loving it. Mm. I mean, I'm just one of those people that... <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to lie. Not get I'm not going to say, oh, no, it's annoying. These people, though, is, but mm. no, please bother me. It's fine. Because <laughs> at my age, you want to be bothered. It's like, oh. <laughs> so I think it's really nice to have some young men somewhere. So far, mm. they're not asking you for money. Yeah. And, yeah. um, you know, saying, I really like you and you're really cute. Yeah. And I would sleep with, I mean, I let my husband read it sometimes. And I say, well, what do you think? <laughs> you think you can do what he's saying he'll do? Mm. And then we go and practice it. Yeah. So I'm not losing out on much. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It's like, it doesn't bother me. So it's just very sweet that at my age that yeah. somebody would find me sexy. Yeah. Attractive. Are you digging the, the, the pickup lines the our Ghanaian men are talking? Well, the pickup lines in the Ghana for the Nyakra. Oh! <laughs> it's disgusting beyond. I mean, they come looking like they're already begging you. I don't want... They... <laughs> <laughs> and on that note... <laughs> it's, like, it's like, hey, come and meet some oh my God. Okay. And on that note, I think it's time we take a quick break. But as you can see, this is going to be one electric episode of the Lady Circle. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, this is Lady Circle. Yeah, yeah, this is Lady Circle. Welcome back. This is still the Lady Circle on TV3. And keep using the hashtag. It is the Lady Circle. Keep sending through your thoughts, comments, questions, even your suggestions. They're very, very welcome. We're still kicking it with Stephanie Benson. And she's been dropping a gem or two this evening. It's now time for us to have some fun. It is competition time. Anita, are you Woo! ready? Woo! Sika, are you ready? Stephanie, ready? are you ready? Woo! Ever ready. Woo! Today we're doing this in teams of two. Myself and Stephanie, we're representing um, Great Britain. And, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Sika and uh, Anita, mm. who are you representing? Omo oh, Naija. Oh, it's Ghana hey. connection. Ghana meets Niger oh, in the Ghana. building. All right, yes. all right. It's and we're going to lose so. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You look so dumb right now. Standing outside my house. Trying to apologize. Okay, okay. We did not miss anything. There was one lyric. Okay, okay, it's coming. The treasure I've been waiting for. I've been waiting, waiting for. Do you yeah. know? Do, do, do you know? Do you know? How much I really, really need, need you. Need you. I just pray for the day yeah, when yeah. I can finally kiss you. Kiss me. You know, say every day. I just pray for you. Every day. Oh, in my heart, I kiss for you. Clap for the boy. That's why yeah. my heart. That's uh -huh. why my heart is a beat. Like do the K, do do K. Cause now you, I choose. Oh, 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 oh,
blood. Um, it's, it's, mm -hmm. you, you have one point, and that's good enough. Stephanie, oh, let's go for a second song. Uh, that's, uh, you uh, have uh, a point, uh, but not for this uh, song. Uh, 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 and that's what cool. she was doing. You're a good soldier, choosing your battle. Pick yourself up, dash yourself up, back in the saddle. You're on the front line, everyone's watching. You know it's serious, getting closer. This isn't over. No, it's not yet. Uh, getting closer. This isn't over. Believe it. Oh, okay. Na me na eh eh, ra ka ka eh eh, na me na eh eh, wa ka wa ko Africa, na me na eh eh. Africa. Wow. Oh, wow. 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 I climb the bridge for your queso. Anything you want, baby. Just for you, baby. For your queso. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For your queso. For your case. When you know, it's you very know. Simple. Yes. For your case. For your case. For your case. So no, no, no. Hey, we mentioned also D. For your case. Uh, Adeleke. Oh, Adeleke. But, but we, we go J. Okay. okay. Yeah. It's time to make a point. <laughs> what would I do without <laughs> your smell now? Come on. Join me out and cut me out. You got my head spinning, no kidding, I can't pin you down. You're on and on that beautiful mind, you're on a magic body left and right. And on my head spinning, no kidding, I can't pin you down. My head's underwater and I'm feeling fine. took this one. That's Smashed what? it, ladies. <laughs> I think it's time we can do five things. And today, it's all about living a healthy life. Are we ready? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. It's class in session. Yes. yes. Yeah. Well, we have the perfect muse here when it comes to health. So she's going to be telling me if we're getting it right or getting it wrong. But I think we got it down okay, when cool. it comes to living a healthy life. First of all, Eating a balanced diet. Everybody say balance. 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 Speaking of balanced diet, I don't know if your balanced diet is kinky in the morning, banku in the afternoon, watch it in the evening. But I think a balanced diet actually makes you need to make sure that you incorporate a bit of you know vegetables, yeah. some salad, and I know they're expensive. You go to a restaurant, salad is hundred CDs. But the good thing is you can actually do it at home. home. Personally, in the morning, I like some cucumbers, some um, pineapples, mm -hmm. some lemon, some ginger. Um, you blend it mm -hmm. and have a nice shake. I know it sounded very foreign, but trust me, it's very filling and also very mm -hmm. refreshing. And if you want to get rid of a little bit of that tummy, you know, fat, that's actually a good 
breakfast to have. Exercise daily. You know, our exercise queen is in the building, and not just Stephanie, this one here <laughs> hey. has been putting us to shame. She's been going to the gym every single week, making sure she's getting the cardio in. We are also supporting from the sidelines, me and Anita. <laughs> As she's burning, we are burning through the phone. But yes, it is important to do some exercise daily. It could even be a walk yeah. or a 15 minute little cardio video that you can do on YouTube just to get the heart pumping. It goes a long way. Mm -hmm. Number three, prioritize sleep. A lot of people are saying we'll sleep when we die. No, we must sleep I'm now. Guilty. You're guilty of that, yeah. right? All the workaholics, people that are on TikToks till 2 a.m. in the morning, guilty as charged. But sleep is very important. Now, drinking enough water. Enough water. They say two liters a day, hmm. right? But I'm thinking maybe three. Three. Maybe four. Three? three. Is, that, is that why you're glowing? Because I um, hear yeah. when you're drinking three liters, oh, God, you glow yeah. like Stephanie Benson. <laughs> three liters is ideal. It's very yes. ideal. You know, the small bottle of water is usually, you know, 500 yeah. ml. Mm -hmm. So if you do six or four, you're pretty much hitting your daily um, requirement. But you can do eight. You can do 10. Mm. Nobody is stopping you. Water is definitely life. And number five. Limit alcohol intake. My people that are jumping Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. <laughs> it's important. You know, they say a glass of wine keeps the doctor away. I don't know how sure that is. Mm -hmm. Or is it an apple a day? Well, it works for me. It works for you? A glass of red wine? <laughs> yes. So it doesn't mean that you can't take alcohol, but make sure you take yeah. it in moderation. Yeah. What if it's your birthday? If it's your birthday, it's go your crazy, birthday. You go crazy, it's go. Your yeah, but only if it's your birthday or any other day, make sure you take it in moderation. But if you balance the alcohol with the water. Water. And also water, drink it progressively. When you get up in the morning, drink more water and as the day goes mm. on, you drink less. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll be getting up in the middle of the night going yeah. to pee. Yeah. So yeah, so it just gets less as the day goes on. Yeah. So, so yeah. in the morning, just make sure you more. flush yeah. the system and then gradually. And then you can even put in some fruits if you want to be very bougie, yeah. you know. And also yes. don't eat fruits after six because the sugar goes ah. right there. Mm. Good tip. Yeah. Well, I hope you have enjoyed that five tips to, you know, live a healthy life. 2023, as we get to December, dirty December, we're going to be facing that in our healthiest form. Five tips <gasps> on being, <clears throat> being healthy. Thank you so much, Sika, for that. It's time for a break, but we'll let our latest presenter in town mm. take us on that break. Stephanie, I believe this is your camera. We're going on a quick break. Quick pit stop, we're gonna have some water and we'll see you back here in a few minutes. Woo! Many thanks to Yaz yes Sanitary Pad, MTN, Yamvita, Onga, Wudin. Welcome back to the Ladies Circle. It is Still a hub of excitement right here. And there's still a little bit more to go. Stephanie Benson is still our guest. She hasn't run away, and we haven't run away. We're still all here on the set of the Lady Circle. Before we proceed, though, a big thank you to all of our sponsors, Yaz, Rudin Onga, MTN, Yamvita, and Cowbell. All right, so time not to get into guilty, not guilty. And Stephanie, this is very simple. Yeah. I'll be asking some questions. If you're guilty, you show you're guilty. If you're not, you show you're not guilty. Okay. So our first question is, have you ever insulted or giving stern looks at a nurse who kept you waiting in line for so long? Yes, some stern looks. Yeah. yeah. I do more than that sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, especially when it seems like mm -hmm. they have, you know, more important conversations to be had instead of doing their work. Yeah, sometimes yeah. they're just chatting, they leave you standing mm -hmm. there. It's yeah. not happening. No. Yeah. Have you ever crashed hard on a doctor during consultation? Ooh. What hospitals are you guys going to? <laughs> we'll give you the hookup. Okay. Yeah. See us in chambers. <laughs> now, have you ever been asked for your number by a guy at the hospital? I say it's like this. You weren't yeah. sure whether he was asking or not. <laughs> I think right. I need to fall ill a bit more often. <laughs> it's going okay. All right, the next one says, have you ever been misdiagnosed? No. Yeah. Actually, 
No. No, but no. you have. Yeah. No. Yeah. All right, and our final one says, have you ever fought with another patient in the hospital? Mm. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> um, I don't know if you call them a patient, but at the time when we were going for um, COVID vaccines, mm -hmm. went to a particular clinic, and some people thought that they uh, needed the vaccine more than others. Some people <laughs> thought their lives were more important, important. than others. Yeah. So they were going to park and have the vaccines come to them. And it wasn't just myself. A lot of us rallied together. together we thought, listen, you get down and join the queue, please. Yeah. yeah. But that was it. <laughs> but you know how Ghana is. It's who you know yeah. and who they know. Then let yeah. them come to your house. Don't come there and, and, and then, then, you know, yeah. Yeah. and then yeah. cut in. Yeah, if you're so big, you know, do some home service. <laughs> Stephanie, thank yeah. you so much for coming. It was an what absolute it? pleasure to be here. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys again. Yeah, yeah. so apart from the radio show, um, I know you have a show this evening, um, so the music is still bumping, you know, and it's going. What other projects are you working on? Well, um, you know, I'm doing this thing with uh, breast cancer. I'm going around to schools. I'm going to Kumasi um, tomorrow. I'm going to be talking a lot with the women about cancer mm -hmm. and whatnot. Um, I also have um, products called um, Steph Secrets, oh. which is geared towards um, helping women with the, the health issues around here. You know, some women smell. And only because either the weather, sweat, whatever, you know, the weather doesn't help a lot. Mm. And and sometimes um, the soap that you use can okay. cause a, a problem, the ba oh, yeah. imbalance there. Mm. So this foam gel is, is amazing. So it just amazing. helps with a with a balance there. And mask, a yoni mask and some steam. So go to Steph Secrets and, um, and order what you want. Oh, nice. Nice. Is Great. it stephsecrets.com? Yes, Steph Secrets within a stephsecrets.com. Yeah. And yeah. is it on right. Instagram It's on as Instagram well? as well, Steph Secrets underscore. Um, it's on Twitter, it's on everywhere, really. Mm. If you DM me and you want to know what to buy and which one works for you, just DM me, I'll tell you. Mm. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, and your private page or your personal page is Stephanie Benson. Benson Live. Stephanie Benson, Benson Live. Mm. Live. On Amazing. all the platforms. Amazing oh. stuff. Well, Stephanie, you have been an excellent guest. It's been a great time. And you at home as well, you've been excellent. And thank you so much for singing along with us, dancing along with us. Ladies, I know you want to say some thank yous of course. before we go. To Yolis for my outfit, thank you so much. And to Hair by Bigos for my makeup and my hair. Thank you, darling. Sika. Kofi Owusu tailoring for my beautiful dress. Of course, it's in Woodin fabric because we are Le Creator um, Muses. Yes. So <laughs> thank you so much, Kofi, for this. I want to say hello to Glamour Hair for right. some of my hair as well. All right. Sure. Amazing stuff. <laughs> Mama Vero. Oh, yes. Ooh. <laughs> All right, you guys will give us the link when we go off there. But again, thank you so much. We're back again, same time, and same place. This has been What the Lady Circle. Yeah, we here and I want to come. Hey, hmm, baby, you.